Welcome to the channel folks, this is Shane. In today's video we're checking out this great little amplifier from the folks over at Joyo. This is part of their Bant Amp XL series and this is the Tweety. This is a 20 watt two channel amplifier that has lots of different features which we'll cover in just a moment. But you're about to hear this in the context of a jam track and then we'll get over to some isolated tones and I'll give you a full rundown of how it works. I'll leave timestamps down there if you want to skip ahead back or forth. A massive thank you to Joyo for sending this out to the channel. I really appreciate it. If you want to check this out, I'll link it down in the description box below. Here we go. Let's take a look at this amplifier up close because there's a lot to like about it, starting with its layout. So it's a two channel amplifier. We get our clean channel or channel one up the top here and channel two down the bottom. Now the beauty of this is you can either switch channels by using the switch over here or the provided foot switch that's actually in the box, which is fantastic. I love the fact that they've included it. This was something that wasn't a part of their prior release. And the prior version of these amplifiers also didn't have the second row of control. So this has been upgraded massively. As you can see from this shot, there's a real 12 AX7 in the preamp. This gives you the nice warm tone and the power output section is class D. On this side of the amp here, we have our power on and off. And over here, we have a dedicated Bluetooth switch. So this allows you to stream music to the amplifier if you so choose. On the back of the amplifier, you can see we've got everything we need to get going. Now this Bluetooth antenna is fully detachable. So if you don't like it or you'll never use it, you can actually remove it, which is great. We get an included power supply and you just plug that in over here to power the amplifier. This is our speaker output designed to go to any cabinet that's eight ohms. This will work with 16 ohms, but the volume will be reduced. In the center here, we have our foot switch, which is where we plug this little guy in that I just showed you a moment ago. Over here, we get our headphone output, which can also double as a line out if you plan on doing any direct recording into your audio interface. And then we get an effects loop over here. All right, let's kick it off with some clean tones. I'm gonna show you the voice control to begin with. So having the voice control, most of the way to the left will give us a very reminiscent sound of say something like a 65 Deluxe Reverb or Princeton. Now I have a little bit of reverb going through the effects loop just because I like reverb and the amp doesn't have any. So this is how it sounds on both pickups on my Telecaster Clean. And now with the voice control in the center, so it's already going to bring in a little bit more mids and a little bit more clipping. Here we go. So that gives you a great representation of what the voice control can do just to shape your sound. It's pretty cool. Let's take a look at the gain control on the clean channel. So I've got it all the way up. I'm going to start with my volume control down just to show you how well it cleans up. Now all the way up. Back down. 
mean, there you go, right? You can just work your volume control and get that really classic bluesy tone just on the clean channel. Over to channel two now, which is the lead or overdrive channel. And this particular channel kind of takes off where the first channel ends. So let's have a listen to this. I've got the gain currently most of the way up. The voice control is most of the way to the left. So it's going to be more mellow. We'll take a look at the voice control. Here we go. <laughs> Getting more gnarly. And now with the gain all the way up. I mean, that plays itself, man. That's almost like having a couple of overdrives stacked. Over to neck pickup with my volume control down. Thanks for watching, folks. My name's Shane. Let us know what you think of the tones of this little amplifier. I'm a huge fan of the dirty tones, and you can definitely get some really nice clean tones. I think one of the small compromises here is the 20 watts when you're talking about clean headroom isn't a lot. So if you want the loudest clean tone, you kind of have to start edging up the gain control on that clean channel or channel one to get the most amount of volume. But it also is heavily dependent on the kind of speaker box that you use. I first recorded this video using the Bant Cab and I didn't love the sound of it. And I was also hearing some rattles from the speaker grill. So I decided not to use it. I then went over to my Marshall 2x12 cab back here, which costs a fortune. I thought, you know what? No one's going to be pairing this with that. So I ended up recording with my two notes Capdoor X using one of my single 12 inch speaker emulators. And it sounded great. So I would say pair this with the right speaker combination. You're going to get really great tones. But if you're a home player, just looking to play at low volumes, this is a really great pairing, but it didn't record anywhere near as well as my other options. So just keep that in mind. Overall, this is great. I don't think I would ever personally use the Bluetooth connectivity, but I love the fact that we get that effects loop on the back. It made running the sidekick from Crazy Tube Circuits nice and simple. So yeah, it can really make this work if you're a studio player or you want to do some smaller gigs or even run your pedals into this. That's where this will shine. But the drive channel, man, the drive channel sounded great. Let us know what you think. Thanks for watching. And if you want to check this out, I'll link it down below. Catch you soon. See ya.